How's it going, everybody? I am back in Fallout 4. And today is the day that Bethesda released the update 1.33 uh, Creation Club content. Uh, I'm really excited for this update. I think that this update adds some really awesome things. Uh, there is one thing that is missing from this that I am a little disappointed about, but we'll cover the things that have been added to the game today. Uh, and then there will be some update videos coming in the next couple days showing each uh, thing individually. So, first thing here, for 750 Creation Club points, I don't even remember what they're called anymore, you have the Capital Wasteland Mercenaries. So, you fight the good fight in the Capital Wasteland by helping a ragtag group of mercenaries defend GNR. Uh, this is, or this includes eight new mercenary outfits, two of each classic Fallout 3 uh, style, veteran, troublemaker, charmer, and adventurer. Uh, quest designed by Chris Takahashi, and then art supported by Rob Fading Signal Vogel. Uh, additional art support by Eleonora. A lot of, like, just awesome mod creators here making, uh, obtain via quest, so... Yeah, a lot of this, a lot of people working on these mods from what I have noticed, um, reading about them, a lot of people that we've seen before making older mods uh, and Creation Club content. And I'm really excited about this pack because Fallout 3 is, uh, I mean, it's my favorite game of all time. A lot of people probably disagree that that game deserves to be on anyone's list, but it's my favorite game of all time. Fallout 3 was a, a huge game for me growing up, and, like, uh, was the first, like, huge RPG game that I played that really got me into, like, games, I guess. So, uh, it was a, a big part of my, like, I don't even know, upbringing? Not really childhood, I guess, but... Yeah, so you see that it adds these different outfits from Fallout 3, and then uh, two styles of each classic armor, so 750 points for this. And then, uh, yeah, next one, Gunners vs. Minutemen. This one is very exciting to me because I don't exactly know what... Is gonna happen with this. I don't know if you'll retake Quincy and it will become a just like a wasteland, like uh, just gonna be dead bodies everywhere, or if I'm going to be able to fight at Quincy and then retake it, and then it'll like change the game altogether and have like Minutemen at Quincy and stuff, and possibly a a settlement location would be pretty awesome maybe someone could mod something like that that'd be cool either way gunners versus minutemen join the fight to retake quincy alongside the minutemen featuring three unique power armor paint uh variants for both the minutemen and gunner factions it's created by skibada and quest by chris takahashi so same uh, quest designer of the gnr quest um and this one is 600 points and from my understanding uh the way that this model work is the more established the minimum are in your game the more your uh the more people you'll have fighting with you basically and then the vault suit customization this is also a pretty interesting one so this one is i'm like 100% certain it's a mod on PC, probably Xbox as well, but they've made their own, so now we get it on PlayStation. Uh, I don't know if it's exact. I don't exactly know if it's a a mod on Xbox, but PC, I'm certain that someone has made this. But basically, behind every vault suit is a number, and every number a story. Craft a jumpsuit to suit your story by choosing from a variety of different colors and number combinations. So I believe that there's like seven or eight or nine colors or something. I think it might be seven. I want to say seven is what 
I said literally yesterday in a video. Uh, but from 1 to 120 is what the uh, numbers are. There's different colors that you can choose from. Uh, as you can see, it's created by Andrew CX. He creates a ton of mods, like with armor specifically, and like uh, a lot of mods for Fallout 4 that a lot of people use. Um, he's done a lot of work in Fallout 4. Big part of like the Fallout community. Uh, and then Eleonora also same thing she's done a ton of mods a ton of creation club content is a big deal to see her working on more stuff for them i'm glad that this update is coming out because it just adds more stuff to a game that i already like to play i've kind of lost interest in though recently over like the last year because it's it's getting kind of old it's been put on the shelf but now it's going to come off again i think uh so vault suits are modified at workbenches, utility suits obtained at vaults. Uh, you can see that there are two versions of the vault suits here because there is the classic one, like this one right here, and then the new ones. So the classic one is the same as Fallout 3. This version is the one from Fallout 4. And you can see all the numbers and options that you have. So there is white, black, blue, green, weird yellow, uh, red. I think that there's orange as well based on that and purple. I mean, there's probably a lot of colors, so we'll see, I guess. Uh, there is the CR-74L. This one is a fully automatic, uh, atomic, or, geez, fully automatic rifle that can tear through enemies at breakneck speeds with several different factions. Uh, faction skins to customize its look, created by Stefan A as X as or I'm not sure how to say that. That's the the closest you're gonna get. Ingdal and Quest by Chris Takahashi, uh, creation obtained via Quest. So you can see it's a pretty cool looking rifle here. And then the Tesla cannon, and I got kicked off. Great. This has been happening a lot. I was going to talk about it, but we'll see what we can do. I'm back in the Creation Club. Uh, this time it actually only took me one retry of putting in my password. Uh, there are issues with the update. I feel like this happens every single time Bethesda updates a game. It breaks almost more things than it fixes, and with them adding Creation Club content... It's basically broken Creation Club and mods. Uh, if you go to try to mess with Creation Club or mods, it asks you to sign in. And then it's basically just a loop of asking you your account name and your password and your email. Uh, it wants you to create an account. Uh, from what I saw on Bethesda.net, people said to unlink your account on Bethesda.net and then re-log in on your console. Problem is, is... Uh, I can't actually unlink my PlayStation account, which is pretty ridiculous, but either way, it worked. I just basically just kept putting in my password and my account name. Eventually it worked. So let's uh, hope it stays working. So Tesla Cannon, like I said, this is a return. I wasn't sure last video if it was from Broken Steel or Operation Anchorage. It was in Broken Steel. It's also in New Vegas as well. But uh, basically, designed by the U.S. government as a lightweight anti-tank energy weapon, the Tesla Cannon delivers a massive jolt to any unfortunate soul who stands in its path. It includes custom modifications and a new quest that has you track your whereabout or the whereabouts of a missing gunner crew, created by Richard Unoctium Edwards. Uh, creation obtained via a quest. So, you'll do a quest line, you'll unlock this gun. There's two different firing modes, so from what I can tell, there is like like a straight fire mode and then a chain mode, but I'm not sure yet. But from pictures, that's what it looks like. Maybe it's like a grenade launcher kind of mode or something, and then, uh, I don't know. So, I guess... 
I don't know what the mode is. We'll find out. So, the both the guns are 400, fault suit 300, uh, gunners and minimen 600, capital wasteland mercenary 750. So, I mean, this is going to put you back a little bit. I've already got some creation club points, but um, not not too many, not enough. So, um, yeah. But right now, just so you guys know, there are some free skins. Uh, I'm going to be downloading those. And then also, there's 50% off the Holiday Workshop Pack, which I got last year. So, I'm going to get all of these free creations. So... Yeah, I'm going to get all these, and then I'll start doing some uh, reviews of these over the next couple days or so. So, with this content being out now, uh, we're going to have a couple things to go through over the next like week or so. I'm going to do some videos on all the things Creation Club-wise, and... It's probably going to draw in a lot of people who aren't going to be happy that I'm buying things that are Creation Club related, but I don't care. I I like the stuff that these modders have added to the game and are being added to the game. Uh, I appreciate the fact that Bethesda is giving them the opportunity to add like basically DLC to the game. Uh, I get that it's it's kind of like, sketchy, because Bethesda is paying people to, like, work on their game after they've stopped working on their game, essentially, but I think it's an awesome opportunity for the modders. A lot of these modders work really hard on these things, and they're, they're really talented, and they've made a lot of content for the game after the game has, like, been out for years, and, uh, they deserve a lot of credit, and I hope that they, uh, they get the credit they deserve with these uh but yeah let me know what creation club content you guys are the most excited about um obviously the vr workshops is missing which uh i was really excited about but without that being in there i'm i'm pretty excited for the the gunners versus minutemen and then also uh for the wasteland uh, the gnr wastelanders uh, Wasteland Mercenaries, the Capital Wasteland Mercenaries pack. That one is also going to be really cool. Uh, the weapons, not I'm pretty uh, like impartial on those. I don't really care too much. I'm going to get them and then try them out. And then also the Vault Suits, I, I don't really care too much about that either. Uh, but let me know what you guys are most excited about. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.